Well, hello everybody. This is Brett with Ironclad Landscape Management, and we are sitting at our commercial property that's uh, located at uh, 1750 South Volusia Avenue over here in um, Orange City. Just wanted to give you a quick look down the, the street there. Got the sidewalk all cleaned back up, picked up all the trash, and you know, people are already littering again, it seems like. But anyway, we got the parking lot completely uh, knocked down with weeds sprayed herbicide we went in with a light gliophosphate mix uh, certainly don't have any irrigation out here so we have a high uh, of, uh, absorption rate out here so no chance of evaporation with the uh, the rain washing it off it's definitely uh, steadfast on there so we took care of that and um, just wanted to kind of walk you through it real quick so you can definitely look at it looks like it's totally lived in right now it's nice and serviceable just want to let you know that we cleaned up uh, out here, you know, went in here and cleaned up all the railroad ties. That's a bordering property, but we had to mow the median that separates both of them. One last thing I have to do is cut the dead out of that juniper. But uh, you can see now that we trimmed up the viburnum, shaped it, shaped the iliagnuses on the side. In fact, we can walk down here real quick. And I'll show you kind of what's going on. Um, you can see that uh, these iliagnuses were quite big at one time. They were up in the uh, soffits of the building and we went ahead and dropped them way down. We cut way past the border over there just to make some nice clean distinction here. Went ahead and uh, cleaned up the sidelines. Got all the vines off the building, sprayed herbicide, recreated the bed lines, the service lines, and then uh, we're getting prepped for mulch installation in here. I don't know if they'll hire us to do that, but at least we've been courteous for the charge for the cleanup fee. We at least prepped it for them so they're totally ready. We've sprayed herbicide, and if they want to mulch, that's, that's kind of up to them. That's a separate scope of services. But I, however, I will get this last bit of juniper cut out right there. Um, you can see that over here we've trimmed everything. We removed out, remember in the other video, we had the dead uh, golden bamboo. Got rid of that, and see how now the rocks are established. We've got rocks in here that are now sprayed with herbicide. They'd have to touch that up a little bit, but... Here's one of the first distinctions. See all our Indian hawthorns are now bald and shaped and all that weed pressure that was in there is gone. Remember we had extensive weed pressure that was taller than the shrubs. All of that's gone and now we have a great clean look in here. So when the client's coming in, they're not getting eaten up when they're walking in. Did want to say that we do have one pile of uh, palm fronds down here. So I uh, also wanted to mention for property managers, you know, when you see your guys out on the, the properties, they're not trying to stash things to get away from stuff. It's just I've got a crew coming by here and uh, so that we can go ahead and blow all the walkways and spray around up. We went ahead and piled it into one bed right there that didn't have any plant material in it so they can back the trailer. They'll come right in through here, the drive over here and back up one of our huge trailers, drop the gate right here and be able to load that. Once again, you can see the nice river rock. That's probably about a one inch to a, a inch and a half river rock. It's real pretty out there. Kind of nice distinction. Just probably need to touch it up a little bit. And then, uh, you know, one of the beautiful uh, specimens that we have here, which is one of my favorite, the lower petalum, the ruby chenis. If you remember, was really unsightly. Now it's a perfect diamond wedge, nice and tight. Got it cleaned up, all of the bald shrubs here. So we've got a nice, nice display. Went ahead and cleaned up the palm trees to get the canopy uh, nice under here. Got the Walters viburnum in the back. That's all trimmed up nice. We're uh, cleaned up all in the beds now. We've got some really nice clean areas. All these people can walk into their suites now and not get uh, jumped. We went ahead and took care of the other Nandine over there in the corner. We cleaned up the heavenly bamboo a little bit in here. And then basically you can reestablish, we see that we've reestablished all the mulch areas in here. In fact, we couldn't even tell that there was pine bark in here earlier because of all the weeds that were down. So now that we put a good spraying here, we did a light raking and you can clearly see we actually have pine bark. And in fact, uh, when we had bitted this property, we bitted it to install about 50 yards and that's on the three sides of the building, you need about 15 yards each. Uh, however, I thought I was gonna use about five yards in here and uh, actually we've got a pretty strong cover in here. So maybe just a light light going over, but Anyway, you can see that we've got this all reestablished in here. Everything's clean. It's off the roof lines, the soffits, the fascias are safe. Um, you know, we've got, got a lot of nice clean distinction now with the plants. You can see that this will hold now for about three months, low maintenance now. And then I will walk you out here. Basically, it's a very busy street. We cleaned up all of the, uh, we cleaned up the, the drain out here. 
we've got all the front lines cleaned up see how nice and clean this is this was completely covered over now all that's exposed we had to scrape the drain get with a shovel out here and get that cleaned up got some really nice clean lines over there in the corner then we look down the side of the building here you know this was just just a mess now it actually looks i mean you can just tell i mean look at the difference nice and crisp definitely looks like somebody's living here you know working out of this unit and then you can see we've got some i did a formal uh, podocarpus another formal podocarpus down there everything's nice and cleaned up and then uh we'll take you down here i'll show you uh in the world of where we're at this is where we were looking at the backflow for them for irrigation concerns but you can see the beds we have a pretty large uh bed structure out here it's pro probably needs about 15 cubic yards definitely need a uh, mulch in here just have some leaves we uh have some people that are kind of using this place to sleep out, out at night i think that's why we cleaned it all up and exposed it and then you can kind of see for the finished part of the project we've got a nice clean back now all of this was wild everything's nice and exposed these people can walk around i feel like they're getting beat up you can see the Ili Agnes down there, nice and cleaned up, shaped up. My little carport for my uh, Porsche 911 that I can pull in here when I visit. Got a little shed over there, but anyway, nice, nice clean little project. You can see that uh, we're nice and nice and uh, wrapped up here. And certainly wanted to let you know that if you ever need any landscaping needs, whether it's residential or commercial, Ironclad Landscape Management is definitely here. Our division of ironclad preservation this is actually a bank owned property but uh we certainly do commercial private and residential so y'all have a great night thanks for watching and uh it's time for me to go home and be with my family remember all the christian men out there i've uh, left some energy to go home and play with my daughter and for the rest of you guys this is what a finished rehab will look like on a commercial property that was completely code violated before we came out today and now this will pass any code violation nice and clean perfect driving areas nice crisp lines everywhere oh i missed one spot of blowing out there the wind blew it back out when i was blowing so i'm gonna go grab my blower and take care of that god bless y'all and we'll catch you on the next episode